Intra club's a little bit different. Um, the intensity isn't quite there and you have quite a bit of interaction with the coaches during the game, but um, it would have been a new experience for them as well, um, for Simo, and so um, I think everyone enjoyed it um, and we'll continue to learn as we go. Oh look, it was a build up of the pre-season of our ball movement mainly and just to see some things work with it. So it was more just introduction with the players playing together at a, a full scale you know, practice match. We're going into free home mode now. Rio are going to send up three to the stop. It was good to see the guys that had come from other clubs in Elliot Yo and, uh, and Zay Vallis perform really well. Um, and then also young guys really starting to step up and, and make their mark within the group in Simon Tunbridge and Jamie Cripps and, and names like that. So uh, I, thought, I thought it was a great little hit out and uh, it was very exciting to see everyone out there together. I thought overall it was probably just a performance for the whole group. Um, you know, everyone stood up, we got through it injury free, which is always a big result. Um, and other than that, it was a really good hit out. Whirling, half the seas, and scores the opener. First third term. Tap down for clearance. Cripps flicks it wide. Marston on the run. Goals. Yeah. Now, we were in a different phase than, than obviously uh, Fremantle were, so we, we looked at them a tiny bit. Uh, at the same time, we were concentrating on ourselves. Fremantle playing in such a way that you need to look at them. And um, we didn't know what to expect for, for that game. So we were pleased to get through unscathed, but also to have a win. It was pretty interesting. I think um, having a new coach on board and a whole new coaching staff definitely made it um, pretty exciting at the start. And then uh, as, we, as we rolled on, we started to get some expectations on what they wanted and what we wanted as a group as well. boarded the plane for the first time with the new coach and, uh, and unfortunately we didn't have our trusted reliable captain so um, we had to make do and, uh, and may have put me in the place but I was really excited for the challenge and, and it was a pretty young group that we took over. Blacktown was a real challenge for our, for our list, you know we rested seven players so uh, eight players that, that probably play in, in around one side so everyone who was available almost played. So to get through a game and have a victory, and that's a good, good habit to be in. The senior guys that were there, we had a bit of a chat saying it's a bit of a young group, and uh, although it's in that cup match, I think it was a really important part for us to step up, and and I think that was highlighted within the game, which with Mitch Brown and Will Schofield playing their roles, um, and then other guys like Sharrod and Masto really stepping up and being leaders amongst amongst the group in, in that game. So it was great to see from that point of view. It's just great to see the attitude of the young guys come through and, and really uh, echo what Simo's been trying to teach us over the pre-season and, and see it in full flight. So um, I think we've taken great, great leaps and bounds in that, that area. Well, I thought the Sydney game was just about our best performance in the pre-season. Um, you know, with the weather conditions, um, Sydney's team was pretty strong and, and um, the way the boys won on the road like that, I thought it was very impressive. Playing for the second time was different uh, than the first, obviously. Uh, the intensity was up. It was almost an AFL standard game, I would have thought, with intensity. We didn't quite match them in close and with the clearances, but what we did do is we made it count on the scoreboard. So, once again, the, the three games, probably winning is a good habit, so we're, we're happy with it. You get caught up with and think, my guy's not dangerous. Look, because if there's a uh, mat, uh, mismatch like JB on the taller side, then you're going to have to get back and help. Yeah, I think the most pleasing aspect was the win. So, um, obviously, this time of year, with the season we've just come off, the results were a little bit more important for us in the NAB Cup. Um, but I thought Freya had a real crack, and I thought we still got the win, which was good. Um, we need a little bit of confidence with the new coach. Um, so it's nice to get some um, reinforcement with what you're doing, you're doing well and you're doing right. It's always a scrappy game with Farrell and the amount of pressure they put on, but I think they came to play and I thought we played pretty well, uh, albeit you know a, a practice match. And It was great to see some improvement um, and hopefully the lead is in good stead leading into round one. It was important, I thought, that we performed well this pre-season with a new coach, new game style, um, and that's happened. So um, we've given ourselves a good opportunity to hopefully play some good football this year.